Google Apps offers some really good tools for mapping. So I'd like to show you a few of those tools. The first one we're going to look at is Google Maps. So let's type in Google Maps. And we can click on the link to Google Maps. Now, in order to effectively use Google Maps, you really need to be logged into your account. And you can see up here, I'm actually logged into my account. If I click on this icon here, we can see that I'm logged into the account. Now, when you go into Google Maps the first time, it will take you to the location you're actually in at that time. So in this case, I'm in South Korea. So this is um, the outskirts of Seoul. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you a few of the features. At the bottom here, we've got this option to turn it into satellite view. So if I click on that, we get the satellite view of the area that we're in. Down at the bottom here, you see lots of photographs. And if you hover over the photograph, it will tell you where that photograph was taken. I'm going to go back to the map again. We can see those photographs again by clicking the drop down arrow here. And there we go. And again, we can see where those photographs are taken. Let's click on one of those photographs. And you can see there is the photograph of that particular location. Now, there's different icons on these photographs. You can see here, that's a camera icon. If we look at this one, it's got a circle. So we can click on that. And this is our street view. And we can turn around and see a 360 degree angle of that location. We can go back by clicking the arrow in the corner. So now I want to find directions. Now, as a teaching tool, this can be very effective. You can get the children to find directions to different places and get them to explain why certain routes are better than others. So let's choose a direction. So let's go to somewhere called Everland. So there is Everland. And now what I want to do is I want to find the directions on how to get there. So we can click on this directions tab here. Now I can put in the location from where I'm starting. So what I'm going to do is I have a location pinned on my map just here. So I'm going to click on that location. And now it will give me the public transport routes that will take me to that location. So I can see I can get the 6900 bus and then the 5700 bus in order to get to my location. And there's different routes that you can do here. If I click inside the routes and click on details, that will give me the details of what I need to do in order to get to that place. I can share this route with somebody if I want to. So I can copy this link and send it to somebody else. When you search for something, if it's a known place, you can look at the details and it will give you a lot of details on that particular place. You could also add photographs if you wanted to. So I could click on this button here and add my own photograph for that place. We also have this option of suggesting a particular edit. So if something is not quite right within Google Maps, we can suggest an edit for that place. Google will authenticate that edit and then they will place it in if it's authenticated. We can save our location as well. If I click on save, that will start this location. I can look for different things nearby and I can again share that location here with anybody I want to. In addition to sharing, we can also embed this into a website if we want to by taking this link and embedding this into the website. 